Hello and welcome to the Synopsys Optical Solutions Group training series. In this video, we will demonstrate the use of the Source Scalar feature in Light Tools. For this demonstration, we are using a model of a decorative circular luminaire designed to be mounted on the wall. The luminaire emits light from a ring of LEDs into both the center area of the circle as well as on the wall surrounding the luminaire. Here, we can see the false color illuminance results plotted in the 3D design view. Let's turn off the illuminance results so that we can see the luminaire body more clearly. If we hide the top ring of the luminaire, we can see the sources mounted inside. This model has four LED sources, one red, two green, and one blue mounted in a group. A thin solid ring made of air called the source replicator is placed just over the top of the LED plane. The left surface of the solid has the LT source array optical property assigned to it. This optical property is set to read the source locations from a user-defined grid called ring grid. The locations in the grid are set to replicate the source grouping around the fixture every 10 degrees. If we turn on the ray preview, we can see the segments extending from the initial locations near the sources to the various positions around the ring from where they continue tracing through the model. The initial source luminance is set to 100 lumens each for the red and blue sources and 50 lumens each for the green sources. In addition to the illuminance receivers in the center of the luminaire and on the outside wall, a luminance receiver is placed one meter from the fixture. We will use a hybrid simulation with this receiver to simulate the visual appearance of the luminaire in color. All receiver meshes are set to a rotational symmetry to increase their efficiency. We have already run a short hybrid simulation and we can observe that the output color of the luminaire is a deep purple. We will use the source scalar function on the luminance receiver to quickly optimize the source flux of the red and blue LEDs to achieve a white color output. The source scaling feature allows users to adjust the results on a given receiver as if the power of the contributing sources had been changed. This can be done without rerunning the simulation, saving considerable time. The scaling affects all data types on the receiver, including forward, backward, and hybrid meshes, slices, and mesh summary data, as well as the raw data. It can be used in conjunction with optimization. To access the feature, we first go to the Properties page of the receiver and select the Source Scaling tab. Here we check the Enable Source Scaling checkbox and click Apply. In the table, we see power scale factors for all four sources in the model. We will change the scale factor for the red LED to 3. This is the same as changing the output power of the red LED from 100 lumens to 300 lumens. You can see the color of the luminance chart changes almost instantly without the need for a new simulation. We will now reset the scale factor to 1 and click Apply. We will be optimizing the red and blue source scale factors, so we will add them as variables by using the right-click context-sensitive menu. Next, we will go to the Hybrid Simulations Results tab and set the X and Y weighted average values as merit function items, setting the target for both to be 0.33, which is the current white point setting for our receivers. Going to the Optimization Input screen, we will open the Controls tab for the Merit Function group and uncheck the Run Simulation When Evaluating checkbox. This will prevent light tools from rerunning a simulation 
with each merit function evaluation cycle. We will pull up the optimization results screen so that we can watch the merit function progress and click Optimization, Optimize. As the optimization progresses, you can see the colors change for the intermediate steps. Now that the optimization is complete, we can see that the color shows white. If we look at the Source Scaling tab, we can see the new scale factors calculated by the optimizer. These factors only apply to this receiver and have not yet been applied to the sources directly. To change the actual source flux values, we click Apply Scaling to Sources. You can see that when we do this, the scale factors are reset to 1, and if we look at the source flux values, we can see that they have been altered accordingly. We can now rerun our simulations to see the results on all of the receivers without the need for further scaling. Once the simulations are complete, we can see that the hybrid simulation results are the same as our optimization results from earlier. We can also see that the color illuminance results on the other two receivers also show the white color that we expect. In this training video, we have demonstrated the use of the source scalar feature in Light Tools. If you have any questions or need technical support, please contact us at lighttools underscore support at synopsis.com. Thank you for watching.